Welcome back to the channel, BS Gang. If you're new, go ahead and click that subscribe button. A huge portion of you guys are not subscribed to the channel, so let's change that. Also, huge shout out to our members as always. Again, if you want to go ahead and become a member, go ahead and click that join button. It greatly helps out the channel, and I would be very, very appreciative if you did hit that join button. But let's go over the update for Global Grand Cross. Now, I am on the Seven Deadly Sins Homecoming Special Step Up Draw banner, whatever you want to call it. Homecoming, homecoming banner, whatever you want to call it, right? I'm on it. This is the best banner that Global has ever dropped. That probably Grand Cross, both versions or all three versions, whatever you want to say, right? Have all dropped. It's very, very nice, right? Because it gives you so much stuff and it gives you it for free. And you can't be free. So, what you can get from this banner, you can get a free Meliodas, Gother, King, and Bond. And then once you hit the 10th step, you can choose, right? So basically, you can choose, or at least I believe you can choose, right? You can choose which one you want. Um, so you can choose like Jericho, you can choose Gila, you can choose Gil Thunder, Hauser, whoever you want to choose, right? They are starter SSRs, right? Except for like Lilia and Valenti, but the rest of them are starter SSRs. But having them already awakened in level 80 does take a burden off your materials, money, etc. Because you don't have to spend anything to do it because it is free. So it's very, very nice. We also have this pity gauge up there where it gives you rewards. Um, it's nice, right? I mean, it's not necessarily a pity gauge. It is more like a loyalty gauge, but it's still very good. So yes, I'll do one. I'll do one multi since we have one ticket. Again, you get tickets not every day, but as long as you log in every, you know, like every day for the next two weeks, you will have enough tickets to complete the rotation. That's what I'm gonna do, and then I'll just, you know, release the video of me summoning as a, you know, uh, as a collective. So let's go ahead and let's waste the first ticket on camera. Again, I already have my Blue Demon Meliodas leveled up. Hopefully, I can pull one of the SSRs, but it doesn't look like it, so that does suck. However, it's still nice because, at the very least, I get a dupe coin for Blue Demon Meliodas, which is insane. So, yes, it's very, very good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and skip. Oh, wait, hold on. I did get Arthur. Okay, so Arthur is a coin, right? So, that's basically, I just got two free SSR coins, which is always nice, right? Always, always nice. I love it so much. But, uh, yeah. So now that step one's done, if you didn't have Blue Demon Meliodas, boom, you got him for free. Let's see. I don't have too many black coins, but that just gave me two extra, so I got four. So that's very, very nice. Um, very, very good. Very, very good. So that is the welcome back or coming home banner, whatever you want to call it, right? That is that banner. Now we also did a, you know, did get a couple of interesting stuff. So let's go ahead and let's look. So the first thing we got is the Valentine's Day story. Now, this is like a little fun extra side story that you can do just to collect a couple things, you know, not too crazy. Um, it gives you, what, three gems at the end, but um, nothing too, like, insane. Like, it's not like actual story mode where it gives you really, really good stuff, but it gives you stuff that you can use in game, you know what I mean? Like, anything, like, free is good. So, <laughs> yeah, there you go. We also have this spin event. Now, this spin event is very important because this will go ahead and give you some not only will it give you amazing things, but it'll also give you, like, what do they call them? The mint chocolate, or the mint green, my bad. The mint green costumes for five of the seven deadly sins. Meliodas, Gother, King, Bond. Oh, oh, four. My apologies. Four. Four of the seven deadly sins, right? So, it'll give you all of those costumes as long as you complete the spin event. And you can get these, I believe. Here, let's go check how you can get them. I believe you just, like play uh main stages i believe but uh here we go let's see how you get them mm, nope that's not how you do it is it not saying how to do it all right well it's not it's not saying how to do it but i'm pretty sure all you got to do here let's let's just double check pretty sure you got to do it is like one stage or something like that let's see okay that's how you get the boxes all right well Regardless, just play the game and you'll be able to do them, right? Or you'll be able to get it. All right, let's go ahead and do that. So you guys were wondering about the, the boxes, right? All right, I'm just going to go ahead and get into the boxes. So the boxes are used for actually just opening. <laughs> you just open them. So they'll give you 
a couple of boxes, right? I believe it's it's either one or a few. So we open it and then we can get a reward from it. And it's a hammer, which is nice. I could always use hammers, but um, yeah, uh, it'd be nice if it were like three or something like that. But yeah, so you just play like Fort Solgris. Most of you guys will be playing Fort Solgris, so it doesn't matter. And then you go ahead and do it like 10 times. So yeah, okay, it'll give you a certain number of boxes until that's it, it's done. So it's very nice. All right, so it looks like you only get five boxes, which is good, still good, still materials. Don't like be like, oh my God, five boxes. No, it's very, very good, right? Very, very good for the ca uh, casual player, uh, veteran players, whatever. Okay, talk fast, come on. All right, so yeah, it's very, very good regardless. So it's very nice that we got this. Also, we have the final boss, Merlin has made her return. I did play this earlier. Uh, my ranking right now is 3.73, which isn't bad. I I'm gonna try and get higher. Although personally myself, I don't really care as long as I stay inside of the top 5%. So once I fall out of the top 5%, I do have to try and get up there, which makes it a little difficult. But some of the rankings that people have are insane. Like it's actually insane. Um, but I will definitely try and keep my top 5% ranking. But yeah, we have Final Boss Merlin, which is nice because it gives you rewards. You guys already know what it gives you. But if you don't, uh, I'll go over it really, really quick. Um, the reward for being in top 5%, you get two SSR pendants and what is it? Five engraving stones. Nice. 10 hammers, 150 anvils. Great. And then you get all of this other stuff. So in total, you can get 35 gems as long as you stay above um, top 50 if you're top 50 and above, right, you can get 35 gems, which is very nice to have, especially considering the ones banner is literally next week. Now, the only thing is, I don't think this, I think this ends, yeah, this ends in two weeks. So you're only going to get the 35 gems after the two weeks, but it's still good to have, right? It's still good to have no complaints, right? This is what we wanted, no complaints. Now, the Tower of Trials is also active on global as well which is very nice for rewards this one is it's not hard but it is tricky i was told that as long as you use people of the same race because you do get buffed see right there increases basic stats by 30 percent when all allies in battle are of the same race so as long as you you know are doing this keeping the same race you'll be fine it, it does get a little difficult towards the end stages but it, it should still be pretty like simple i'm gonna try and run a mono goddess clan and see how that works but um yeah we'll see right we'll see how that works out for me but yeah that's that and then i don't know if i hit everything i apologize if i missed uh, a few things but one of the big things about this update too is that our friendship points are pretty much being doubled which is always great and sending these like hearts to friends allows you to get these right so anything you had in your box even if before the update they turn into hearts which you can claim and you can do that and you can also get this stuff right here so you see how that friendship is a heart so now you can get this special event box which you can get unlimited of by the way so you can get that right i can get three right now so let's go ahead and collect so as long as you keep doing that you'll be fine and then i'm gonna go ahead and collect this now and I have 2,698, which is very, very nice. So I can get two more, which means I will get five boxes. So let's go ahead and let's open it. Now, there are stuff you could use inside the boxes, which is very nice. Always very nice to have. So let's go ahead and let's get to the box. Let's check what's inside of it. So this is one of the big things that I like about this update. Um, race draw tickets, and engraving stones, an SSR pendant, chalices, money, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. This is good because you don't have to do anything except basically have friends and continually continuously play the game because you can literally get friendship coins pretty much by sending them, eating at their tavern, using their units in battle. So it's very nice, very, very cash money, right? <laughs> very nice to have. So let's go ahead and let's open all five of them at the same time and see what we get. And we get 10 engravement stones. That's, that's good that's good right there 10 engraving stones that's good I, i'm a fan i'm a fan let's go ahead and open up these uh chocolate boxes while we're at it and we got two demon or two gray demon wings and 40 uh enhanced stones so pretty good pretty good um but 
other than that we didn't get too much in all honesty i'm trying to think but we didn't i mean i believe deathmatch is doubled right now like the rewards you get or something like that but um nothing crazy we got the, you know the check-in events um but again that's pretty much it i mean i guess we could go over the check-in event really really quickly right so let's go ahead and check there's some good stuff there so again this is the comeback you know comeback banner checking event or whatever so we'll get a ticket tomorrow then we'll have to wait again and then we'll get it like so basically we get we get two every other day right no no i don't how am i gonna how am i gonna say this so we get two tickets for two days they skip a day we get another two tickets for two days and then that keeps going until we get finally to the last one which is nice we also get a fully um full awaken token which is nice and 10 gems so that's nice this is our like valentine's check-in event we get tickets for the part one and part two banner we get six star and you know awakening stone which is nice three super awakening and then 10 hammers which is good which is good and i believe this is yeah this is just where i stand on my logins so yeah pretty good stuff all around i would say nothing crazy crazy the Escanor, the Escanor celebration, right? The first year anniversary is where the celebration really gets juicy. So just wait until next week. But again, guys, as always, I will see you all next time.